This is Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's a Thursday. Go tell your neighbors we're on the air where they can watch us. So many people are talking about us now. And I hope they're saying good things. Right, Amanda? Absolutely. Of course they're saying good things. Okay, I hope so. Yeah, we hear good things all the time. We're glad you love the show. So <laughs> tell everyone to tune in. We have a great show lined up for you today. We'll be talking about pets. Lots of pet stuff coming That's up. Right. And of course, you can always adopt a pet. We'll have the Grand Strand Humane Society coming up next. But first, we need to check in with the weather. Oh, so nice. Uh, it's a beautiful day out there. A live look from our Adelaide Tower camera in Garden City. Looking northward, you can see the Surfside Pier off in the far distance there. A gorgeous day filled with blue skies overhead. And yes, low humidity levels and temps are even struggling to get to that 80 degree mark across the PD and the border belt. 79 in Florence, Marion and Hartsville, 77 in Darlington. We are at 81 in Myrtle Beach and Conway. We'll continue to watch those temperatures steadily rise around to the mid 80s as we go into the afternoon. We do have Hurricane Katia well off to our east, creating that high risk of rip currents down at the beaches. So if you are planning on enjoying the nice sunshine down at the beaches, be careful of the water. That rip current is going to be very dangerous over the next few days until Katia passes well to our east. Otherwise, this afternoon, sunny and warm, beautiful, low humidity, highs around 84 to 85 degrees. Nearly a perfect September day, if you ask me. And we're going to hold this forecast for your Friday as well. Mid 60s for your wake up temps along the Grand Strand into your weekend. We'll hold those mid 80s straight through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with only a slim chance of a shower or thunderstorm as we go into the middle of next week. And we continue to look for that dry weather for the inland areas as well through the weekend and beginning of next week. We'll still see highs around the mid to upper 80s as we go through the weekend and starting Tuesday and Wednesday we will actually increase the humidity as well. But wake up temps over the next few days will be back in the mid to low 60s. Don't be surprised for a few of the inland locations to be a little bit uh, cooler. Relatively speaking, you may even drop down to the upper 50s briefly. All in all, though, great looking weather and the extended as we head through and into your upcoming weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Every Thursday, the Grand Strand Humane Society joins us. And today, what a beautiful dog that you brought. Whoa, isn't she beautiful? You hear that, Lisa? She is about a year and a half, so she's fully grown. And we call her Lisa, but her name should be Angel. She is so <laughs> well-behaved and so sweet. And she's um, a terrier pit bull mix. And um, she's been with us for a little while because she had a little boy who just got Aww. adopted. Yeah. So she is just She's amazing. Oh, She's just nice. precious. So how do people adopt this they, little angel right here? Please, <laughs> yes. <laughs> please come to Grand Strand Humane Society at 3241 Mr. Joe White Avenue or call 918-4910, 918-4912. All right, great. And I want to talk about you guys have an event coming up. Yes, it's exciting. That's our next Lunch of Love, and it's going to be at the Mellon Mushroom on 21st Avenue in the middle of Myrtle Beach. The tickets are still only $10 a piece, a great menu, and they are going um, on the market today for sale. Okay, great. How do people get tickets? 918 491 Two. All right. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Amanda. All right. Take take home an adorable dog like this one today. Now let's check in with the News Channel 15 News team to find out what stories they're working on. I'm Tracy Vreeland, executive producer at News Channel 15. The Drug Enforcement Administration banned the synthetic drug known as bath salts. We'll check in with some stores that sell the drug and find out when they had to pull it off the shelves. And police will let us know how they plan to enforce the ban. We'll take you to a 9-11 ceremony at Coker College. And the Darlington Raceway is also honoring September 11th victims. We'll show you how. We'll have those stories and more on your news at 6. Instead of the 7 o'clock newscast, we'll be carrying the president's speech on jobs tonight on News Channel 15. James Hosbach, you may have remembered him. He carves birds like this one. He dropped this one off today. He was on the show just showing off his work. He does some amazing work, doesn't he? I know, and he gave me one too. They're really nice. Yeah, a hummingbird. That's my favorite bird. But uh, he might be teaching a class out there at Coastal, so you'll That's learn how right. to do that too. That's right. All right, now let's talk about today. All right. Today's Thursday, September 8th, and that is Do It Today. Do It Today. You've been do putting it, it off. You put it off. Do, do it, it today. Do It Today. And it's also National Date Nut Bread Day, right? Date Nut Bread, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, birthdays today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know about it. 1979, Jeffrey Shane Chandler, my son. He's 32 years old today. And, uh, boy, that looks pretty good. All right, special yeah. happy birthday. Good-looking kid. All right, 1979, Pink, 
32, she's a singer. You remember Get the Party Started. I don't, but you probably yeah, do. Yeah, of course I do. Okay, 1981, <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas, 30, on the Tim Allen Show, the kid on there, Randy, mm -hmm. they called him. Now, on this day in history, 1930, the first appearance of the comic strip Blondie. That was in 1930. Now, 1952, Ernest Hemingway's Old Man in the Sea was published. How ah. many people have read that book? 1966, That Girl, starring Mario Thomas, premiered on ABC. And now in 1974, President Gerald Ford pardons former President Richard Nixon on all federal crimes. Now, from the Noydal Department, in the 1930s, the famous Twinkie was invented by James Derwin Gay. Twinkle, hmm. his name, now this came from when he saw a billboard that said, Twinkle Toe Shoes. Really? Yes. Twinkle and, toes. and you know, now you know the rest of the story. That's when he named it. They're named Twinkies. After shoes. After a shoe. Interesting. They taste better than a shoe, I'm sure. And they last forever, right? I mean, Twinkies lying. last forever. Twinkies. <laughs> and that's it from the Know It All Department today. All right. Now let's check out our video of the day today. Take a look at this. Now this He's cop really enjoys his work. Dancing cop right here. Yes, that's him. He's really getting to it. <laughs> I might by. be confused. Whoop. Come on, I bring might it be to me, brother. On bring it when to, to me. drive and when not to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That guy's good. That guy's very good. <laughs> Viewer <laughs> sent this in, so thank you for sending that in to us. Yes, thank you oh, so much for that. Cop. All right. <laughs> very nice. It's funny what you can find on YouTube these I days. I know it. You it? can find anything on there. All right. Well, it's Thursday. That means Ashley is here with her top 10. Hi everyone, for this week we have the top 10 most mimicked cartoon characters. At number 10, we have Blue's Clues. Number 9, we have Spider-Man. Number 8, Tweety. Number 7, Powerpuff Girls. Number 6, my personal favorite, Winnie the Pooh. Number 5, Scooby-Doo. Number 4, Tom and Jerry, number three, Bugs Bunny, number two, SpongeBob SquarePants, and number one, Dora the Explorer. That was your top ten. I'll see you next week. Thank you, Ashley. All right, I was so waving so at Ashley. I'm sorry. I learned sorry. something about us. We both, our favorite, Tom and Jerry. I love Tom and Jerry. Yeah, me too. And My SpongeBob made it all the way to number two. Yeah, Dora the oh, Explorer, okay. number uh, so one. A different generation. Oh yeah. Everybody These in here watched cartoons. Tom and Jerry. I'm sure. Everybody yeah, did. That's still my that's right. running favorite. All right, you can always find them on our website, Deals. Check out our deal of the day today, Carolina Live. CarolinaLive.com has partnered with area businesses to bring you Carolina Live deals. You'll save from 50 to 70 percent off on area best services, restaurants, and attractions. Today's featured deal is from Harbor Gate Marina. Get a boating slip for as low as $160. Since 1988, Harbor Gate Marina has been the area's premier freshwater dock. With 100 wet slips spread across three floating wood docks with slips ranging in size from 37 feet to 50 feet. Harbor Gate Marina has the perfect slip to fit your boat. All slips are outfitted with electric service, water, cable TV, and wireless internet. Plus, you can keep track of your boat with their 24-7 webcam that you can view from your home. Harbor Gate Marina, your home for your boat. Save money today by going to CarolinaLive.com and clicking on the Carolina Live Deals link. It's that easy. Carolina Live Deals, only on CarolinaLive.com. We love our dog, Button. I just love my Snoopy. Give me a kiss. <coughs> Popeye's my special friend. Aww. You know what all these people have in common? They all take care of their pets at Coastline Pet Supply. Coastline has everything you need for every type of pet. Coastline also sells all kinds of pets, including birds, fresh and saltwater fish, and exotics. For over 10 years, Coastline Pet Supply. Bypass 17 at Highway 707 Myrtle Beach. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Talk about Coastline Pet. We've got the man with us today. That's right. Tommy, Tommy is Morris. here. Thank you for being on our show today. Thank you. Um, I'd like to talk today about dogs who have food allergies. Um, the more purebred dogs you have, you seem to have more allergy problems than you do with uh, mutts. They seem to be a little healthier. <laughs> um, normally when you have food allergies, what you try to do is limit the number of ingredients in your dog food. Uh -huh. um, if you look at um, 
most of your dog foods, 60% of the ingredients will be common to all dogs. So if your dog has, happens to have a problem with chicken, you can change three or four different foods and you still have the problem. So the main thing you try to do is eliminate the number of ingredients and also try to find ingredients that aren't common to most dog foods. Uh, this one here is a sweet potato and venison. It's not something you're going to find in your average dog food. Okay. Um, just one animal-based protein, one carb in it. Um, the next thing you need to remember to do is cut out everything else you're doing. Uh, changing foods and then giving them three or four dog biscuits is, isn't going to help you any. Um, you know, you need to get it down to zero and then once you find a food that works for you, then you can start reintroducing other items into it. Um, a lot of people feed, feed canned, they use treats. Uh, this company will make a biscuit that will have the same ingredient as the dry food hmm. and a can that has the same ingredient. So your dog doesn't have to do without. We'll have every, you know, they'll have everything for. So pets are like humans. They get allergies and everything else. Exactly. Um, usually switching foods two or three times you can find something that works on your dog. If you don't, you can have allergy tests done. They'll run approximately $300, $350, but they'll come back and tell you, hey, your dog's allergic to flaxseed, they're allergic to you know, grass or whatever it is, just like on a human. And what are the symptoms people should look for? Uh, redness, uh, they'll lick their paws a lot, ears will be red, they'll scratch a lot, um, you know, it's, it's it's a pretty common problem, but um, this company has, you know, they have venison, sweet potato, duck and potato, bison. They've got, you know, many different ones. Huh, that's really interesting. So yeah, people is. can come in and try this for a little bit, and if it doesn't work, maybe, you know, switch around. If, if you switch foods and it hasn't helped in three weeks, it's not going to. Okay. It's, it's, but you yeah. can give them some tips so they can come by and see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can. Uh, just bring us what you're feeding now so we can stay away from what's in that food. That's great. So check right. out the back and the ingredients. Well, Thanks thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Always, Always interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Tell everyone where you're located. Uh, 3530 Northgate Drive in Myrtle Beach, back gate of the old air base. All right. Thank you so much. And check them out, CoastlinePetSupply.com. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Coming up this Saturday right here in Florence, the Patriotic Parade and the Benefit Ride. That's right, and then the live entertainment starts right here at Creek Rats of Florence. This is the 10-year anniversary of September 11th, so come out and show your support. This Saturday we'll have our second annual Benefit Ride. Uh, this will help remember our military and our first responders and law enforcement uh, that uh, gave their lives, obviously, uh, 10 years ago. And uh, it's a way that we'll be able to raise money for our special projects. It'll be a start out at Doug's Harley Davidson, uh, first bike in or uh, at nine, uh, last bike out at two, and everybody end up back at Creek Rats at five o'clock the afternoon. And uh, we're gonna have a great time. Last year we had about 600 bikes, and we anticipate probably roughly a thousand bikes this year. So come on out and support this worthy cause. After the benefit ride starts, people can snag a spot on West Evans Street to watch the patriotic parade that starts at 11 a.m. Well, this Saturday we have the, the Patriotic Parade, which is a tribute to 9-11. Uh, obviously, this year being the 10th year anniversary, it's just that much more important to remember this important time in history and the events that occurred then. Proceeds from these events benefit the Florence County Sheriff's Office Youth Programs. There'll be a poker run, a benefit run, uh, which following parade, which benefits Camp PD Pride and the Wounded Warrior Project. And Camp PD Pride has been going on for 16 years. It's a free camp that's run by the Sheriff's Department, and it's no charge to the children that attend. And in 16 years, we've had hundreds of children benefit from participating in the camp. The Wounded Warrior Project is one where children who are families of soldiers that served our country, uh, we take them fishing, we take them hunting, and just give them generally a good time. And it's just one way that we can help give back to the soldiers that have done so much for this country. It's going to be a great benefit. Be here. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Time for another special guest. That's right. We're talking about the Home Builders Association of the Greater PD Tour of Homes coming up for 2011. And uh, Brian's here. here. Brian's going to talk it. about it a little bit. Tell me a little bit about this now. This is a big deal. I've, I've been covering this for years. It sure is. This is our eighth year, Cecil that we've had a tour of homes in, in the uh, greater Florence area, in the PD. This year we've got 21 homes 
built by uh, 14 different builders located in 12 different subdivisions across the town. Uh, it'll go on for two weekends, be this weekend, September 10 and 11, and then September eight, uh, 17 and 18, open on that Saturday and Sunday each weekend. We'll, the homes will be open from uh, 10 to 5 on Saturday and 1 to 5 on Sunday. Um, you'll see our signs all over town. You'll see the tour home signs directing you to uh, the local houses that are, that are open. All you have to do is you can pick up your book at the first house that you go to, or if you'd like to contact any of our uh, sponsors, they've all got books located at their place of business. And you can also visit uh, the hbapd.com website and find out the location where you can pick up your books there too. And what's so cool about this, you can go to all these houses and you can get all kinds of ideas for your home. That's right. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, many of the houses will be decorated, uh, to have furniture in it, show you some ideas there. Some of them will be in uh, various stages. We have some that are even uh, maybe in the framing process. Uh, the builders will be located at many of the houses also, so you uh, we welcome you to come and uh, talk to our builders also. Great. Well, thank you so much. Sounds like a lot of fun. I love to go uh, look through houses. I always think it's great. And you're right, you get That's ideas for your house good stuff. Too. It's this weekend now, Saturday and Sunday, and also That's right. next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. If you're in the Florence area, it's worth the trip over. You'll get a lot of cool ideas by doing this. That's right. Thanks for being with us. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. I know you're going to have a lot of people. Y'all always do for that. Hope so. All, All right, right. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Hungry? Do your dining at Broadway at the Beach, where restaurants range from low country cuisine and prime beef to steak, sushi, and seafood. You can even find fair food here. And don't forget, some yummy ice cream for dessert. Please your palate and fill your plate at one of the many restaurants at Broadway at the Beach. Phenomenal food, countless cocktails, and a picturesque view of Merle's Inlet. Drunken Jacks on the Marsh Walk has been pleasing people young and old for more than 30 years. We are very blessed to have every kind of um, guest come through our doors. We have locals, we have golfers, we have families that have come here since they were kids, and they're bringing their families here. Try one of their signature dishes, such as the Grouper Royale or Steak Neptune. Or choose from the wide selection of savory steaks and fresh local seafood. We have a wide selection of fish that we use, such as swordfish, we use um, tuna, mahi-mahi, uh, grouper, um, salmon also. See why everyone else continues to come back to Drunken Jack's? You'll become a repeat visitor too. Drunken Jack's located on the Marsh Walk at 4031 Highway 17 Business in Merle's Inlet. Visit their website, drunkenjacks.com. And visit Drunken Jack's on the water in Merle's Inlet. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. You know, with the economy the way it is right now, there are a lot of people having to look out and uh, look for food, and we've got a person here now that represents a company that does a lot for bringing food into the area. That's right, Roy with the Low Country Food Bank. Now you guys distribute over 10 million pounds of food along well, coastal Carolina. Yes, actually the numbers last year were over 17 million wow. pounds of food, out of, uh, considering all of the 10 counties uh, that we actually serve out of Charleston. And we are the Grand Strand Regional Food Bank for this area, which is primarily O'Ree County and Georgetown County. And they also have another uh, regional one in Gimmesee, which is shared, you know, takes care of the uh, Buford area and that part of the southern part of the uh, of the state. Now, what y'all do? Y'all give the food to agencies that help feed, right? Exactly. Uh, we we deli we deliver and well, not to deliver as much, but deliver the food. They come by uh, to roughly 66 agencies uh, in O'Ree County and Georgetown County. We call them approved agencies because they have uh, food uh, s safety seminars, things they have to abide by, uh, records and things like this to make sure that everything works well. All right. Well, you guys, um, you know, you need some assistance in doing all this that you do. We can always use volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> Nonprofits uh, have a tendency to have very small staff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is always welcome. How can they do that? How can get in touch with you? If they Just want easy. It would be simple enough. Our local phone here is 4480. You know, I hate to say this. I just did, you know, did one of those uh, 
bleeps here. Uh, I <laughs> four, have four, eight, zero, zero, three, zero, three, four, four one. one. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And if you want more information about the uh, headquarters and everything that is, is, you know, in Charleston, is we're simply lowcountryfoodbank.org. Mm -hmm. That has simple. all yeah. information and plus all phone numbers for all of their areas. All, all right. right. Well, thank, thank you. So thank you for being with oh, us. We you appreciate guys it. Do a lot. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us. And you got it. Help out, volunteer uh, during the day. Again, you can visit their websites and. Uh, Lowcountryfoodbank.com. Mm -hmm. oh, dot org. Dot org. org. Yeah. Dot org. All right, stick with us. We'll be right back. DJs and dancing, live music, even some karaoke. Find it all at Broadway at the Beach. Bounce from bar to bar throughout Celebrity Square, the nightlife district filled with clubs and night spots. It's a guaranteed hotspot any night of the week. Enjoy the nightlife at Broadway at the Beach. Remember 9-11 with the Florence Sheriff's 9-11 Benefit Ride Saturday, September 10th. The ride begins at Doug's Harley-Davidson and will end at Creek Rats in Florence. First bike out at 9 a.m. with the last bike in at 5 p.m. There'll be live entertainment beginning at 3 p.m., a 50-50 raffle and door prizes all day. Proceeds benefit the Sheriff's Youth Program and the SCDNR Youth Hunts. And don't miss the 10th Annual Patriotism Day Parade beginning at 11. Brought to you by your station, News Channel 15, and these fine sponsors. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Hobbies, we love them. We love to hear about them. If you have one, contact us. And that's how we got our next guest. That's right. I've got Woody Bauer with me now. Woody, there's a lot of coin collectors, stamp collectors and everything. Now, what he does, he, he loves taking pictures of birds, landscapes, and things like that. Now, how did that hobby start? How did all that start? Well, the hobby started pretty much when the digital cameras came into event. I wasn't right. much of a photographer then. Uh, <laughs> and then started traveling uh, internationally. So I decided to start using the technology and uh, taking pictures and remember the places we've been to. So All we right, we're it. looking at a few of the pictures now that we have, and, and, and these are just amazing. Now, primarily, uh, I do seacoast around here locally, and then uh, we vacation quite often in Ireland and Scotland, so I like to get the antiquities and the, uh, oh, and the uh, landscapes when we're there. Wow. Now, you're retired, but you say you do travel a lot. Now, you present your stuff at different shows. You do your shows now? We do a number of arts and crafts shows around the area, up as far as North Carolina, and um, uh, also in some of the uh, artist guild uh, galleries here locally. Now, do you have a favorite picture? I was just thinking about that. You well, take I guess so many, I know. Favorite picture I have is the one that was just on, I think, looking a different perspective under the pier here. A nice local mm -hmm. shot that oh, okay. uh, looking under instead of over. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good. Well, I tell you, this is great, and we're always looking for people to have hobbies. If you have any other friends that have different type of hobbies, you need to get them to get in touch with me. We can definitely do that. We can There's do that. There's a lot of talented folks in this area. That's right, and I appreciate it. Keep on snapping the pictures. We'll keep doing that. And if, that. You, if you get something good you want to send to us, we can use it on our show. And uh, tell us for what day. you sent. Yeah, great. just send it to us. Great, we look forward to it. All right, All right I great. appreciate it. Thank Thanks you for so being much. with us, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate well, it. Speaking of pictures, let's check out our picture of the day today. Hey, check that out. That is sent in from a viewer. Okay. Uh, Emily and there Nico. Is. There yeah, we go. There oh, we go. it's sent in from our director, Michael yeah. Hutchinson. Thank you for sending that in. Uh, we love pictures, so send in yours too. You can email them to us at carolinaandco at wpde.com or you can always post them on our Facebook page and we'll snag them from there. All right, now I need to mention, this is on our Facebook page, Michael Nobas really, really, really wants us to mention that in Laurenburg there is a golf tournament that will be held Saturday, September 10th at Cypress Creek Golf Course in Laurenburg, North Carolina, 8.30 a.m., $50.00 per player and the proceeds go to building 
the lodge. All right, so, that's uh, Saturday. Check that's that Saturday. out, Lorenberg. Yeah. That's right. And I got to say hello to a good friend of mine, Sonny Huggins from Timmonsville, South Carolina. Sonny took a fall not too long ago. He's messed his arm up, Aww. his ribs up. So, Sonny, get well, my friend. He flew for SLED for t more than 25 years, a great pilot, and uh, he's a great guy. Get well. Oh, get well. Yeah, definitely. I hope you feel better. Um, hey, I want to mention this weekend, this Saturday, I'll be playing at uh, Broadway at the Beach Mini Golf for the Children's Museum of South Carolina. I need some donations, so if you I'm can help give you me one. out, are you? Okay. Show's over. I'll today, be you a donation. today yep. Cecil's giving me a donation. I need some more. You can go to the website, or um, you can call them at 843-946-9469, or just call me here, send me a message on Facebook or an email. I'll let you know how you can donate. We have to do it today or tomorrow. So That's please. right. Don't forget, September 30th, Clio for the Clio Cotton Festival. October 4th, Lumberton, the uh, Agricultural Fair. Wholesale Furniture, October 6th. Laurenburg, the John Blue Cotton Festival, October 7th. October 14th, the Florence, the Sunday House. All those are live shows where we're taking our show to see you. That's right. So come out and see us there. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at noon. Have a good one.